So this week we'll be seeing more of recursion simply because many of you have been asking for it. I saw this over the forum and in the general discussions I've had with some students, they said they want more of recursion. So anyways, that was in line. So we are going to do more of recursion and we'll do more of programming because that's why we are here. As you see, Python is about programming where car is for driving, <laughs> bicycle is for riding. So Python is all about programming. There's no point in just going ahead with more and more theory. So we'll do more of programming and mostly it will be some deep diving this time. So we may discuss a few non-trivial things. And finally, the third and the last point that we'll be discussing this week is some file handling. May sound technical for people who wouldn't have heard of file handling. What, what exactly one means by file handling. We'll, we'll start from the scratch and make you feel comfortable with how to handle data if it is really big. You see, even lists have some disadvantages. You cannot go beyond a limit. But with files on your hard disk, you see, you store a movie on your hard disk, right? You store, store all your MP3 songs on your hard disk, right? So you can also store big, big, big files on your hard disk. And how do you access them? And how do you uh, make sense out of it, right? So that's what we'll be discussing in file handling. So uh, let's get on with recursion right now. Okay, so all right. So what is recursion? So we have been thinking about recursion um, uh, from the past two weeks uh, and we, I'm, I'm sure most of you are now mature enough to understand what is recursion, but I will go with more examples just so that we feel even more comfortable. All right, so assume there are some N people in queue. All right, one, two, three, four, and so on, right? There are some, let's say 100 people in queue. 100 people in queue, right? So what I want to do is I want to sneak in here and then spread a piece of gossip, right? I'll tell this person, and just tell him to tell to his neighbor, all right? And then forget it, and then move on, all right? He, 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 will, he will forget it after that. And this person will further tell it to the next person, and he'll forget it. By forget, I mean, that's all. He goes away from the picture, all right? I tell this fellow, this fellow, ask him to tell the next person and then walk away from the place. And the next person is asked to tell the next person and walk away from the place, and so on. Don't you think using this method where a piece of rumor is supposed to spread to 100 people that is same as spreading it to just one person and asking him to spread to the other person just so that this way the rest of them are handled too. In the sense that it spreads to the last person here in the list. You see, this is recursion. As, as commonsensical as this may sound, this is indeed recursion. All right? So let's go ahead with another example, just so that it's easy on our minds. So assume you have thrown a dinner party to some of your uh, BSc classmates at, at the IIT Madras BSc degree program. So you have, you have thrown a party and you have friends home. And obviously, when you throw a dinner party, your vessels require cleaning. So you have some 10 vessels, 10 vessels are to be cleaned. And as and always, we, we procrastinate uh, when it comes to doing tasks, especially household tasks, right? So how would you go about cleaning these 10 vessels? One way is to simply clean one vessel, okay, clean one vessel, and request your family to help you with the other nine vessels. Okay, when you request, let's say, your brother to help you with the other nine vessels, your brother will, will sort of clean one vessel. Okay, and then ask, let's say, sister to clean the other eight vessels. And the other eight vessels, what sister does is she cleans two vessels and asks dad to help her with the other six. All right. So the, the idea is the problem of solving 10 vessels is same as the problem of solving one vessel plus the problem of solving the nine vessels 
it may not be an equation like this i may be mathematically wrong to state it like this but it, it just just analogously speaking you see what this means right washing 10 vessels is same as washing just one vessel and outsourcing the nine vessels to someone all right this idea is very easy in your minds when it comes to programming many a times we may have to find the answer for n elements then it's enough if we can do something about one element and then outsource the other n minus 1 case to someone else right so by that i mean in the queue you see you see uh, we did this right in the queue uh, i just spread the rumor to the first person and then asked him to spread it to the next person and then him to the next person and so on so the problem of so, uh, spreading the rumor to 100 people is same as the problem of spreading it to one person and then managing the rest 99 somehow you see you can always break the problem one thing at a time as they say live your life one day at a time right so how, how do you how do you, how do you live your life as stupid as this may sound very relevant though in our um, um uh, in, in today's life so living for n days is sa same as living for just today and then living for the other n minus 1 days you just worry about today and the rest you manage it day after all right therefore the rest of your life how do you want to live you manage <laughs> later on maybe this is a bad uh, suggestion especially when it comes to uh, today's world where saving is very important we may have to think about day after next year next 10 years and things like that but analogously speaking even living for n days involves living for today to begin with right so on and so forth and i i'll give you one more example of recursion the case the deadly case of covid okay this very corona virus it uses recursion to spread to the whole population how what how does it do its target is to trouble n people what it does is simply trouble one two people okay or let's say it troubles only one person uh let me just write it in a different way right so it, it initially troubles one person and that one person at least infects two more people and these two more people in fact two more people and so on right so at this stage it is one at this stage it is two this stage it is four if 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 you go on like this uh, it, it it reaches roughly you know 2 to the 30 which is in the order of 1 billion okay um more than half of our population can get infected in just 30 steps you see 4 is 2 square so on and so forth don't worry about the math here the idea is corona virus what it does is it ensures that one person spreads to two people so one person spreads to two people the task of spreading it to n is handled the following way first spread to one person and then think of spreading to the next n minus 1 people how do you spread that this one person will take two more people here so 1 plus 2 is done and then n minus 1 becomes n minus 3 you see so on and so forth uh, don't worry if the math is confusing in fact I, this is not again very mathematical i'm just trying to give you a sort of a hindsight a bird's eye view of what happens in in covid infections it's also recursive covid is also recursive okay covid uses a simple algorithm of i have spread the virus now i have created uh, a calamity inside the body of this one person and now if he infects at least two people i am done okay one is not enough why because one person infecting only one person infecting only one person you know that that chain grows slowly while this kind of a chain goes fast i think this should be enough an introduction for recursion as and always programming involves practice so this very task of recursion is important for a simple reason that when you say when does programming gets complicated it is when there's a question on recursion <laughs> because it's not easy on the mind right you will see that this in this week that we're going to do some non trivial programming not at all straight forward but as and always whatever be it when you do it a couple of times three times four times five times it becomes trivial okay everything is difficult before it becomes trivial and between difficulty and triviality there is practice right so let us dive in to more details on recursion